Good morning. It's good to meet you. I've read your files, so I'm up to speed on what you and your previous therapists have worked on. Sure, you can have a candy. I'll have one, too. You look chill sitting there like that. Not a care in the world, huh? All right. Well, I'd like to start by talking about your parents. What happened to them? And you? It was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. When I read your account of what happened, it came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? What I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you were talking about your own past. That makes me think you've cut yourself off from it. Is that right? Not sure? Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self-dialogue. You know what I mean? Asking yourself questions and getting answers. So maybe you should ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Hi, Vanessa. Would you like a candy? Butterscotch today. Hmm. Well, they taste good to me. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? No? Okay. Then I'm going to show you some ink blots, like this one. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. What do you see here? Hmm, it does look sort of like a treehouse, doesn't it? Do you like treehouses? That's good. Now, what about this one? Really? Looks like a face to me. That's very interesting. Have you thought more about what we talked about? In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah. So, if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Do you ever grow things? No, I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you. Like a sport. No? Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. That's a nice chair, isn't it? According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Hmm, so do I. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. Is that right? That's true. So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. You purchased some fake fur material. What are you going to make? What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go so you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. 
I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress. Don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. 